Hello and welcome back to the Fan Movie Trivia Schmodown. I'm your host, Chris Doman, a.k.a. the unofficial Harloff, Chris Skywalker. Here with me tonight, he is a usual co-host. Give it up for Case, the assassin, Cornelisa. Case, so in tonight's match, we have one returning competitor and one debut. Based upon our returning player's performance last time, do you think uh, he'll do better this time around, given the new format that we're in? Or do you think... uh, the newbie might uh, show him a trick or two. I think they both have a shot at winning. I uh, personally want Ryan to win because I know him more, and I think he uh, he wants his uh, like revenge. Like he, he lost last time, and that was perhaps a little undeserved because you know it was against you. And what are you really? <laughs> oh, nice little pot shot there. Okay, okay, I see how it is. Well, yes, uh, let's. With, with that nice little jab in there, let's meet our competitors. First up to bat, he is one of the co-creators of the Fan Movie Trivia Schmodown League, one of the people who helps run this joint. He is the Braveheart, Ryan McClellan. Ryan, how excited would you say you are to be back in the ring? I'm actually very excited. I'm looking for a chance to prove myself this time around. I think that It'll be a completely different game. It is a completely different game. We've taken the show so far at this point that I'm happy to be back on and just hoping to get a couple points here and there. <laughs> That's fair. And his opponent tonight, we have Steven Mr. Anderson. This, uh, you know, I, I, I gotta admit, I, 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 love, I love that nickname. It's just, it, it works so perfectly. It's great now. But like in middle school and high school, not so much because everybody did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap! I think I just gave him PTSD. Yeah. <laughs> well, if we're done, uh, if we're done being us around, I believe it's time to get this match underway, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the fan movie trivia showdown. Introducing first. With a record of no wins, one defeat. He is one of the co-creators of the Fan Schmodown League. Give it up for Ryan, the Braveheart McClellan. And his opponent, making his Fan Movie Trivia Schmodown debut. Give it up for Mr. Steven Anderson. So... Round one is going to go like this. Each competitor will receive four questions from four predetermined categories in sets of twos. Each question is worth one point apiece, and there is no stealing in this round. Ryan, because you are the favorite going in, would you like to go first or second? Um, I'll go second. Sounds good. And Steven, would you like to receive questions from category one or category two? I'll take two. Sounds good. Uh, Case, uh, would you like to read the questions to Ryan? And I will start Mr. Anderson off. Steve, for your first question under the category of drama, which Oscar-winning actress played the role of Molly Brown in Titanic? Uh, oh, man. I know what it is. I know what it is. Five, four. She's in misery. Two, oh one. Time. Uh, I can't Kathy, think of what her name is. Kathy Bates. Yeah. You, you were you had the right idea going. It just, it's all good, man. It's all good for the drinking game out there for you guys. Let's make that a thing. <laughs> for your next question, under the category of family films. What is the name of the pirate whose treasure Mikey and his friends try to find in the Goonies? One-Eyed Willie. Sir, that is an innuendo. How dare you? But that (laughs) is correct for one point as we now go over to Case and the Braveheart. Okay, Ryan, for your first question in the category of drama, who directed 2015's In the Heart of the Sea? Ron Howard. That is correct for one point. In the category of family, finish this lyric from Mary Poppins. It's super... 
supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Two that points. That is correct. Another point. All right. Okay. Well, let's see if uh, Stephen can keep the at least keep it keep it interesting here. For your next question, in the category of crime movies, in The Godfather Part Two, what is the name of Vito Corleone's home city? I haven't seen that movie in years. Um, say Philadelphia. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm sorry. Now <laughs> uh, his home, his home he was originally from. He was named after Corleone, Sicily. Uh. It's all good. It's all good. And that's uh, two shots now. Your next question, under the category of romance, who played Annie Hall's slightly psychotic brother Dwayne in Annie Hall? In Annie Hall. No idea. Okay. I was looking for Christopher Walken. Uh. I'm sorry for the <laughs> bad impression. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ryan, for your third question in the category of crime, what is the name of Jason Statham's character in Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels? Of course, you pick the Statham-Richie team-up that I've seen fewer times. <laughs> All I can remember is Turk from Snatch, so... That's incorrect. We were looking for bacon. Yeah. Right. In your last question, in the category of romance, Eyes Wide Shut, starring Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman, was the last film by what acclaimed director? Stanley Kubrick. That is correct for another point. Look at hey, that. if there's one thing I know, it's directors. I may not know anything else. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, he is now within two points of what he last scored, so holy crap. Now we come into round two, and it goes a little something like this. <clears throat> Each competitor will choose a number between one through six, which pertains to a certain movie category. You will be given the category names ahead of time, but not the number they are associated with. And you may pick twice, but you must stick with the second category if the first one is not to your liking. You will then be given four questions worth two points apiece, the multiple choice is available for one point, and there is stealing in this round. Ryan, because you are in the lead, would you like to go first or second? I would like to go second again. Seems to be working well for me. <laughs> okay. Steven, the categories in this round are scores and soundtracks, Star Wars, Marvel, sports, Tom Cruise, an action adventure. Please choose a number between one through six. I'll go three. That is the category of Marvel. Would you like to keep it or go for something else? I'll keep it. All right. I will have Case prompt you the questions in this round. Hey. So, for your first question in the category of Marvel, in the Avengers, Tony Stark catches someone playing what classic game? Uh, multiple choice. Is it A. Pac-Man, B. Pong, C. Galaga, or D. Space Invaders? Uh, Galaga. That is correct. That is correct. Two points. Your second question. When Deadpool is beating up Ajax on the highway, he's says he comes from what Canadian place? Uh, Alberta. That is incorrect. We, oh, mm. Ryan. Ryan, you like a chance to steal. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember exactly, so I'll just say Edmonton. 
That's also one. incorrect. We are looking for Regina Saskatchewan. Regina. Regina rhymes with fun. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, your next question in the category of Marvel. How many X-Men movies did Brian Singer direct? That Nicely done. And he takes the lead. All right, for your last question, what was the name of Beverly's band in Howard the Duck? I actually watched this after Guardians of the Galaxy, but I can't think of what it is. Um, multiple choice. All right, your options are A, Cherry Bomb, B, Lipstick, C, Sex Shooter, or D, The runaway, or Runaways? B. That is incorrect. Ryan, would you like to steal? Is it C? That is also incorrect. We were looking for Cherry Bomb. Ah. I, I, I don't blame you if you haven't seen the movie. It's Yeah, I stay away from that. I uh, will have, even have I have actually seen it, and it is that bad. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah. It is. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, Ryan. The remaining categories in this round are sports, Star Wars, Tom Cruise, scores and soundtracks, and action and adventure. Please choose a number between one through six, and three is off the table. I'll go with. Five. That is a category of action adventure. Would you like to keep it or go for something else? I'm gonna go for something else. All right. I'm gonna guess. Uh, I'll go with two. Okay, and you are unfortunately maybe stuck with scores and soundtracks. I know some things, but we'll see how much I actually know. We'll, we'll see indeed. Okay, Ryan, for your first question with the category of scores and soundtracks, which 90s band performed the song Live to Rise from Marvel's The, the Avengers? <laughs> love this song. Soundgarden. Damn right. Ah, oh, love that song, too. Oh, yeah, seriously. It's so I good. would sing it, but I don't want to subject the listening audience to my voice. So. <laughs> don't, don't tempt me. I will start singing again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your next question. Which song is used multiple times, including the end credits in The Big Chill? Oh, my goodness. See, I own the soundtrack, but I haven't seen the movie, so that's what makes it hard. So I'm going to have to guess one of the songs off the soundtrack. You couldn't go multiple choice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, multiple choice. Don't. That's smart. As they don't don't let your pro, don't don't let your pride oversee you. <laughs> Which is yeah. Okay, your options are A. You make me feel like a natural woman. B. I heard it through the grapevine. C. Ain't too proud to beg. Or D. Joy to the world. It sounds like a song at the end of a movie, so I'll say Joy to the World. Jeremiah was a bullfrog, and that is the <laughs> correct answer. Nice I certainly wouldn't done. put natural woman at the end of a movie, so. Nope. Well, <laughs> that's definitely that's maybe, maybe, maybe a different movie. I was going to say, maybe a different <laughs> kind of movie. <laughs> All right. I, 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 I feel like we're about to cheat because if I had realized this question was in here, I would have maybe uh, yeah. moved it out, but... <laughs> Who composed oh. the score to Christopher Nolan's Inception? My favorite movie of all time, it's Hans Zimmer. <laughs> yes. And that is going to get me yelled at by the group. <laughs> I mean, yeah. come on, you, you didn't choose these questions for me. They just happened, to, I happened upon them, so. All right. No complaints we'll, here. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that one. <laughs> okay. For your final question in the category of scores and soundtracks, which song from Disney's The Lion King won Best Original Song at the 1995 Academy Awards? I'll go with the one that I would pick to win. I, uh, well, Because I, I know them all, so multiple choice isn't going to help me. 
really. It just narrows it down barely. I'd rather try to go for the two. So I guess I'll go the circle of life. Steven, would you like to steal? Can you feel the love tonight? Oh, ho, 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 ho. There's a calm surrender and two points Good taken. <laughs> that is a big steal. That's a very big steal. And that's not even the one I think I would have guessed, even if I had multiple choice. So good that's job. That's not Steven. the one I would have given it. That's not the one I would have given it to. Circle of Life, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. But now we come into round three with the score being eight to six. A very close game. Wow. Holy yeah. crap. And now round three, here are your rules. Each competitor will be given the year, genre, and three plot keywords of a given film. If they know the answer from that information alone, they will receive five points. If they need two more keywords, the total possible goes down to three points. And if one last keyword is needed, the total possible is one point, and there is no stealing in this round. Ryan, because you are currently in the lead, would you like to take movie number one or movie number two? I'll go with movie number two. Okay, he's sticking with the twos. It seems to be working so far for him. Steven, I'll read you your question for round three. And you have to guess the film from the information. Just a quick reiterate. So your year is 2000. Your genre, mystery and thriller. Your plot keywords are diabetic, backwards, and murder. Uh, I'll take the next two. Okay. Your next two are Revenge and Amnesiac. So it's, what are the five again? Diabetic. Diabetic, backwards, murder, revenge, and amnesiac for a person with amnesia. Oh, I know it. Uh, I'll have to give you a five count. Five. Four, three. Go ahead and give me the last one. Okay, okay, okay. Murder of Wife is your last one, and I'll give you ten seconds. I knew that was going to be the clue, but I still can't think of what the movie is. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. I was no, looking no. for the... Memento. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> no, I mean that's right. that's totally fair, man. Now, and this but, means I knew what it was. Yes, this this does mean that if Ryan hits, if it's anyone, any of the oh no wait, except if he for hits the, one the if he, yes, if he hits the five or the three, he wins by a TKO because Steven missed his round three question. Yes. All right. I am your year, 1989. Your genres, adventure, comedy, and crime. And your plot keywords, hitman, party, and murder. I'll take the next two. All right. The next are summer job and Hawaiian shirt. Nineteen eighty nine. Adventure. Um, what are the other two? Hitman, party, murder, summer job, and Hawaiian shirt. Five. Yeah, I'll need the four, last one. Weekend. Five. Four. Three. Two, yeah, I have no idea. 
Okay, we were looking for Weekend at Bernie's. I was going to say, they gave you the part of the title. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen that movie. Too bad. That's, that is too, too bad. It's a classic. But, <laughs> so we come into round four now with the score still being eight to six. There are five <clears throat> questions asked in this round. The competitor who is behind will go first. The questions will go back and forth until either a win or a tie, which will then result in a sudden death tiebreaker. So basically, Steven, I'm going to have you go first. Now, you can miss one and not lose right there, but after that, you have to hit from there. So, the category is movie quotes. Now, I'm asking you to name the movie from the quote. Steven. Your first quote is, Oh, listen to them, children of the night, what music they make. Five, four, three, two, one. I was looking for Dracula. Ryan, if you hit this one, you win. If you build it, he will come. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Build of dreams. That's wow. right. That's correct. <laughs> Another movie I've never seen. <sighs> Man. Okay. Now, Steven, again, this one you have to hit to stay alive. How to get burned. How to get burned. How to get burned. How to get burned. I don't know. Can I have the Field of Dreams one again? <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. I don't know. And your winner, Ryan, the Braveheart McClellan. The answer I was looking for was the Nicolas Cage stinker, The Wicker Man. Uh, should have known the way you were saying it. A little bit fair, what were, you expect, what were you expecting me to say? Oh no, not the bees! Not the bees! <laughs> ah! uh, <laughs> that would have helped. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. I mean, you know, I... I, I really appreciate the close matches. I really do. You know, and I think it's safe to say that, you know, both of you guys, you both have some good showings. You have some strengths. Sure, does everyone has gaps. So don't feel bad. Not in the slightest. You know, crap. I have gaps. Just ask me about Ben Affleck films. You know. <laughs> hey, Ben Affleck's great. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He is. I'm not going to argue that. But, uh, Steven, unfortunately, it just couldn't quite go the way that maybe you thought it would. But obviously, I'm assuming you plan on coming back? Oh, yeah, definitely. Glad to hear. Ryan, congratulations on finally freaking winning. Did I not say <laughs> that, after, so that, that I, after I beat you, you were going to go on to have some great wins? Did you I? You did say it way back before we even played, so it's true, but yeah. Thanks, Steven, for playing. That was actually like, oh my gosh, I was on pins and needles the whole time. I was I was bouncing my leg up and down. But yeah, I, I liked how I did with the scores and soundtracks. I thought that was a strength of mine, and I'm happy to know that I actually do know a couple things about it. But I'm a little disappointed in myself about how I did towards the end there. There were a couple that maybe I should have been, you know, more attuned to. But, um, yeah, I'm happy that I won, and I can't wait to see what's next for me. Fair enough. Uh, Case, any final thoughts before we wrap up? 
No, it was a good match, and um, even though it seemed like uh, Ryan was getting ahead, Steven got right back into it, and uh, we went to round four. I mean, we don't really go uh, go to round four a lot uh, lately, so it was good to have such a close uh, such a close match, and it was good. It was. It definitely was. And that with that. This has been the Fan Movie Trivia Schmodown. I am the unofficial Harloff, Chris Skywalker, and we will see you at the next match. Take care.